Hi, Matthew here with F-Class Community Channel. I'm here today in Mission at the BCISSF Sierra Championship to learn more about the BCRA's Under 25 program. I have with me Robert Best, BCRA Associate Head Coach with the U25 program. Robert is a talented target rifle shooter and is an inductee in the DCRA Hall of Fame. Uh, at the Canadian Full Bore Rifle Championship, he won the Governor, Gun, Governor General's Prize in 1981, 1982, and 1989, and came third in 1983. In 1982 and 1983, he was crowned the Canadian Full Bore Rifle Champion. Robert made 10 busy, Bisley teams, and at Bisley, he made the Queen's Prize Final and the Grand Aggregate 50 six times. Thank you for joining me, Robert. First off, what is the U25 program and what rifle disciplines does it cover? The Under 25 program is a program of the BC, BC Rifle Association that uh, encourages young shooters to get involved with the sport, mainly target rifle and to some extent F-Class as well. Um, Okay, uh, and in terms of, uh, does, does that also include small bore shooting at this time? At the moment it does not, but uh, we're strongly supportive of all junior shooting, including air rifle. Uh, mm -hmm. The BC Rifle Association for years has provided uh, scoring support to the uh, Provincial Cadet Air Rifle Championships, and uh, we still remain committed to supporting under 25 shooting in all its forms. Okay. Uh, where, uh, what, what type of training is provided um, by the coaches uh, in terms of uh, uh, what you take a junior shooter through in terms of the program? All right. Well, it starts with the very basics of uh, holding, squeezing, firing. Uh, of course, safety before all. Um, there's also training in um, making up a training plan, running a training plan, mental management. Yeah. And we also provide training in, in hand loading because, uh, as I've said, the focus of our sport is uh, full bore outdoor shooting. Yes. And we have to load our own ammunition and we, we train young people to do that as well. Okay, so, so the, you also do training f uh, for reload loading uh, practices and, and. Yes. And in, in addition, beyond training in individual shooting, we also have um, a strong focus on team shooting, mm -hmm. which is another discipline. There's also team training available. Yes, and, and in terms of team training, then that is a coach coaching the junior shooter. Actually, uh, team team shooting mm -hmm. in in target rifle is a separate discipline. It's mm -hmm. not individual shooting where you make your own decisions about yes. sights and wind and stuff. Mm -hmm. The shooter becomes merely a shooting platform, mm -hmm. and a coach sits above and beside the shooter yes. with a telescope and uh, calls the wind, adjusts the sights, and tells the shooter when to shoot. Okay. Uh, where and how do most U25 shooters uh, start? Uh, is it cadets? Uh, and how, how can uh, somebody outside of uh, uh, the cadets uh, get into the shooting sport? It is true that uh, historically and even today, most of the junior shooters that we've brought into the program have at least started in cadets. Now, cadet shooting now is only air rifle, except for a very small uh, number of kids who are able to train at the National uh, Full Bore Training Camp at Ottawa. Um, however, it is possible for anyone, any under 25 person, to get involved with shooting, mm -hmm. um, either from uh, uh, local gun clubs or uh, if they're interested, if they can make it out to, to one of our practices or open days, uh, we welcome them with open arms. So it's very easy for anyone in cadets or out to get that, involved. That in the is that is great to know that anybody uh, outside of uh, uh, the the cadet program can join. Um, what what is the youngest age uh, that a person can start shooting the U25? We don't have a, a, an under under a, a minimum age. However, uh, uh, I've trained successful international shots at the age of 12. In fact, one of my cadets at, at Bisley, when I was a cadet Bisley coach uh, back in 1979, I think he lied about his age to get into cadets, and I think at that point he was only 13 or 14 years old, so he'd been shooting for about three years at that time. Okay. Basically, if you're large enough and strong enough to get into position with, with a rifle and sling, 
um, there's there's really no no bar. Okay. Uh, what are the locations that you do your training at? Well, where where are the locations? Uh, of course, training begins at home. Every cadet can can train. Every every junior and, and every 25 person can train at home. Um, but uh, you can train at local ranges, uh, air rifle, uh, small bore. But our full bore ranges principally are here at Mission. Uh, we have Club 300 days where BC, our BC Rifle Associates shooters can come and shoot, even if they're not Mission members. And our principal range is General Volk's range, uh, which is a 600 meter range up beyond Chilliwack. Okay. Now, uh Going from there, that moves us into equipment. Uh, what are some of the basic equipment uh, or key equipment, uh, essential equipment for an uh, under-25 shooter? Well, I'll go through the basic equipment aside from the rifle, which you see spread out before you, and then I'll have something to say about how a junior shooter can get involved and make get access to this equipment without a huge a lot of expense. Uh, we have probably the most expensive piece of equipment will be the shooting jacket, which you see lying here. Um, it should fit quite closely. Its, its purpose is partly to pr provide protection against uh, the, the sharp edges of the, of the rifle when you're in position, but principally it provides uh, support in the prone position. Attached to the, to the jacket, you see the sling here. In the prone position, the sling provides uh, support so that the rifle can be held on aim without muscular effort. Um, up in the corner is a telescope, a spotting telescope. It has two purposes. One is to be able to see where the, the shots are on the target. The second is to be able to uh, look for mirage and the shifting of the winds and flags. And although this is a, a reasonably decent scope, a perfectly satisfactory one can be had new for about $100. And uh, in addition, we've got uh, some excellent used scopes that have been donated to the under 25 program that can be provided on loan to, to shooters. That, Excellent. Yeah. There's a hat. Uh, on a sunny day, you need to keep the sun out of your eyes. A glove protects your left hand against the uh, pressure of the sling. There's a shooting sweater that goes under the jacket to provide a little more tightness. And very important, a pair of ear, ear defenders because uh, hearing is too important to lose and we yeah. are absolutely insistent that ear defenders be used on all ranges at, at all times. And uh, as a, a, a target rifle shooter, how many rounds do you actually go through in a single string? Typically, uh, a string either consists of two convertible sighters and 10 on score or two and 15 on score. Mm -hmm. It's rare for us to do less or more, although in mm -hmm. certain matches there can be two and seven, mm -hmm. and I have shot two and 20. Okay. So uh, maybe another final piece of equipment is uh, uh, rain gear, since <laughs> it rains, rains quite a bit in, in the lower mainland. It rains we quite shoot. a bit in the yeah. places that we shoot. And so yeah. every shooter has in his bag rain gear here and oops, lots of towels. Lots of towels. That's it. To cover up the action. Good. Um, in terms of uh, uh, what, what, what are some of the fundamental skills do you, you help the junior shooters to work on? Is, is it just body position? Body position is the foundation of all prone shooting. Mm -hmm. um, delivering the shot, aiming, trigger control. Mm -hmm. But perhaps even more important than, than the basic mechanics of shooting is mental management. Mm -hmm. In shooting, as in most sports, uh, the mental is more important even than the physical. Okay. Okay. And in uh, in terms of parental support, uh, what can could parents do to support their junior shooter? Well, uh, to support them in their choice of sport, and to to be uh, on their side, uh, to provide um, financial support if it's if, if it's needed. <laughs> Although, as I've said, we've got a fairly generous uh, loan program and assistance program for mm -hmm. equipment. Um, of course, there's always uh, driving to the range. Yes. But that's going to be uh, involved in whatever sport that the, that the young person's involved in. It mm -hmm. could be soccer. It could be hockey. Mm. Uh, Bob, you mentioned Sierra and Savage. How do they contribute to the U25 program? Well, this is the Sierra ISSF match. It's sponsored by Sierra Bullets. And every competitor who enters this match and finishes it gets 100 bullets from Sierra. 
Now, the BC Under 25 program asks each competitor here at the match to donate those bullets back to the Under 25 program, and it, I'm very pleased to say that most do. This allows the BCRA to subsidize the loading of match ammunition for, for under 25 uh, shooters. And as far as the Savage goes, uh, we have uh, negotiated through the generosity of Savage Arms um, the availability of an excellent rifle produced by Savage called the Savage Palma Rifle. It's in 308 caliber and it's ready to shoot. All you have to do is add sights. Savage makes it available to the BCRA for under 25 shooters at a, at a very, very good rate. Mm -hmm. And these rifles can either be leased to own um, on a three-year contract or can be bought outright, provided that the under 25 shooter uh, stays in training and enters our matches. Excellent. And uh, finally, uh, uh, you mentioned that uh, there are, uh, that the BCRA has equipment. Uh, now, uh, are there any scholarships or, or costs associated with uh, the U25 program? Okay. First of all, uh, we require all our under-25 shooters to be members of the BC Rifle Association, uh, but we have uh, very generous uh, reductions in, in membership fees for, for, for under-25 um, persons. They're usually half what they are for senior shooters. Uh, our match fees, again, for juniors are, are half what they would be for seniors. And for um, an under-25 shooter's first major competition in Ottawa or internationally, we have been able to provide uh, subsidies for travel and training um, through uh, various funds and sources the BC Rifle Association controls. Okay, that's it. Thank you, Bob, for your time and helping in paving the path for the next generation of competitors. Should you like to learn more about the U25 program, please contact the British Columbia Rifle Association or visit them on their website, www.bcrifle.org. I will leave links below in the video description. And remember, keep an eye on the flags and tight groups.